A Warner Robins woman wants to warn others after a series of scam calls that tied her up for hours. Sabrina Burr spoke to the woman and some tech experts to find out how you can protect yourself. Glenda Simpson says ads usually pop up while she's on social media while using her iPad and computer. They have all these advertisements and some of them are really cool things, but I have ordered several things that that did not have return addresses. One day she says she got a call from a caller ID labeled Apple from a man claiming she had been hacked and that was causing her gadgets to run slowly. I said, how do I know that you are who you say you are? He gave me his Apple ID um, badge number. He gave me his phone number. Along with his location, tech expert Wes Reagan at Quality Computer Systems says that was the first sign of a scam call. Apple doesn't call customers directly. He said online ads allow scammers access to personal information. It's running rampant right now, and the two common, obviously, are going to be Microsoft and Apple. Simpson says the man claimed he could protect her computer and bank information, so he asked her to put $6,000 on a prepaid card, and she would be reimbursed later. Reagan says that's a red flag. They want to trick you and tell you, hey, I got, let, let me in, let me take care of this problem for you. After several phone calls and speaking with the man for several hours, Simpson says she finally hung up. I don't want someone else to go through this, someone that may not catch it early enough. She says it's a lesson well learned. In Warner Robins, Sabrina Burst, 13 WMAZ News. Now Reagan says to avoid posting personal information online and suggest using a company, for instance, like LifeLock to guard yourself.